Hey up YouTube, it's uh, Inam Gavor again with uh, the Samsung Galaxy S2. What I'm going to be doing is showing you on this video how to put the ice cream sandwich operating system um, on this device. Okay, so what we'll do, um, just to let you know, the phone must be rooted already. So I'll just switch this on just by powering down. You can see you've got the yellow triangle just symbolizing that it's rooted. Incidentally, I think uh, on this one I've got Android Gingerbread 2.3.5. Um, so once it boots up, what we're going to do is download a file um, containing the Ice Cream Sandwich operating system. I'll put a link in the description so you guys can download it as well. As I say, the prerequisite is the phone needs to be rooted uh, for, or ready for this to work. Um, so what we'll do is just connect the phone up to my PC. Just plug in the USB lead in the bottom. And what we're going to do is put the, the zip file that we've downloaded into the internal SD card of the phone itself or the external SD card, whichever you may prefer. Um, in this example, I'm just going to put it on the internal one. So, what we'll do is we'll just move over to the PC. I've downloaded the file uh, onto my desktop, as you can see there. Now it's got quite a big file name, so I'm just going to cut that down to ICS. The file extension of .zip still needs to stay the same. So what we'll do is that. There we go. So that's connected up. I'll just put it under. Ah, there you go. Should have been USB storage. Well, all I'm going to do is just copy there. It's about 177 meg. So, as I say, the link will be in the description where you can uh, download this from. I will recommend that you do a backup of your data and everything on the phone before you attempt anything like this at all, um, because myself and Samsung do not hold any responsibility for anything that may go wrong with it. Okay, you're you're doing this at your own risk. Basically, um, if you haven't got anything to back up, uh, any software, I'd suggest trying uh, Titanium Backup, um, linked with uh, Dropbox. It's a good way to go, which is what I use. So once that's on the phone, I can disconnect that. So that's done. What we're going to do is turn off the phone. I'm just going to disconnect it from the. Okay, so what we'll do is just turn the phone off just by holding down the power. <coughs> okay, and what we're going to do is put the phone into recovery mode. So, okay, so the phone's now off. What we do, trying to get it into recovery mode, is what we're going to do is press the volume up button, the home button, and the power button together so that you can get into the recovery console okay so I'll just do that so volume up home and then power on just hold those down all together not letting go until the screen changes there you go it's booted up so we'll just wait for that to go in got the rooted screen I'll just bring that up near the screen so you can see what it shows now what we're going to need to do is scroll down to where it says mounts and storage um, by using the the volume up and volume down keys to navigate the menu so you can see those up and down so what we need to do is scroll down to where it says mount and storage there we go um, to select it all we're doing is pressing the home button so I'll just press that to go into it brilliant and then uh, from there we need to go format system so scroll down hope you can still see that format system there we go and then it says, are you sure you want uh, confirm format? Yeah, we're just getting rid of the old one. So yes, format. There you go, then throws you back to the main menu. Next thing that we need to do is from the same menu is format, data and cache. So if I just bring that near you. So the next one is format, data. That's the one. So all I'm doing is pressing the home button to select it and then using the volume down to go to the yes confirm and then pressing the home button again 
and then you can see in the bottom of the screen it says formatting data now that's done so we did the so look, we did the data we need to do the cache so we just scroll down by, by the volume down again press and then press the home and again there let's format there you go and it goes through the motions and that's done as well so what we did here was format the system then we did format data and then we did format cache so once you've done all three to get back to the main menu um, press power to take us back to the menu before it so just press that back to go one menu back and then we need to do wipe data and factory reset and you can see it's the third one down so we just use the volume down to get to it and then press the home select it and then it says are you sure blah 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 yes it'll delete everything so we just select the home now it says wiping data formats sorry formatting data now you can see it says it's complete so now that's done we need to flash uh, the device with the ice cream sandwich operating system um, and we need to get from the main menu install zip from it uh, either SD card or so look, apply there you go install zip from SD card so press the menu button there and then what we'll do we'll choose from zip from SD card and there it is so we need to just browse to the location where we put it and if you remember I'll put it in USB storage so if we just use the volume button to go down it's USB storage and then select it and it says I'll just bring that close to you choose a zip to apply and because of the way they're using white text on orange background you may not be able to see it but that basically says ICS.zip all we do is the only file in there, press home to install it and then it says confirm install this cannot be undone so scroll down to where it says yes install ICS zip press home button and then it goes through the motions let's have a look Now there's some users that have used some of the previous Alpha 4 or the Alpha 5 um, versions of Ice Cream Sandwich, sandwich should I say, that said you need to do the last part of this process where you install it from SD card twice, but I'm using Alpha 7 so I'm going to see if it's uh, we can get away without doing it twice. Now that's done, it says install from SD card complete, that's it. We then go back to the main menu because all I want to do is reboot now. So once we get to the main menu, you got reboot system now. It's already selected at the top. So I'll just press home button to select it. And then it should go into reboot. So we'll just let it do its thing. Still got the yellow root triangle there and then we'll see what it does and we're also read that it can take a, a little bit of time from this screen as well uh, up to a couple of minutes so uh, uh, I may fast forward it okay the phone just slightly vibrated there so the screen remained blank throughout the entire point and then it's it vibrated for like a split second and then you can see now we've got the welcome screen I don't want United States English because we're in the UK so I'll just select it and see if it gives us any options there we go scroll down English UK <coughs> got the green Android symbol start press it then it says just a sec yeah some sort of bar moving around at the top the timer's already synced up and I've already got some bars for signal along the top you should be able to see that 
we'll just wait for the startup routine to go through. I won't set up the Google Mail account, not for now. And I'll just I just want to get into the operating system. So I'll deselect the location services, select next. And it wants me to put in my name. I'll just leave that blank for now. Uh, yeah, we agree. Just to finish the setup, you can see the home buttons and the back and the um, the back. Sorry, you got the home, the menu, and the back. And the buttons highlighted because this is a port over from n the Nexus phone, and obviously that device doesn't have any actual buttons. Like the Galaxy has the the obviously the home button, the menu button, and the back button is just there. So that's kind of still working through, I think. Um, so this is just going through a quick. Well, we'll go into settings, see if it shows it from there. There you go, go to the bottom of my back phone. And then I'll just bring that up so you can see it. See, it says Android version 4.0.1, model number GT. I9100 Samsung Galaxy S2 and that's it you've got the kernel versions there um, as I say this is not the official release from um, Google um, to have ice cream sandwich on the Galaxy S2 um, they release a Android release the source code for the operating system so this is like um, someone's ported it over from the the Nexus so Android or Google haven't released a proper update for the Galaxy S2 to have uh, ice cream sandwiches yet but if you want to have it uh, on the phone before they actually release it that's how it's done as I said I'll put a link in the description where you can download uh, the zip installation from and you just install it from um, I've installed it there from the internal SD card um, and that's it that's how it's done, as easy as that. As I say, before you do it, make sure you back up everything just in case if you don't like it, you can go back. Any comments, please comment below. Um, please subscribe from the bottom and above just to check out some of my forthcoming videos. Um, I would say it looks like it does wipe everything on the phone, so don't think it's like an upgrade, uh, it's like an unofficial upgrade release. This is like in alpha testing at the moment, um, so do it at your own risk basically. Um, thanks for watching and goodbye.